conversion. Personally, I like to think that the same people who think Chuck Norris is a great actor think Obama's the Antichrist. That's hilarious to me. But keep in mind, according to the book of Revelation, John saw Jesus and described him as having hair like wool and feet the color of burned brass. Yeah, he's a brother. It's going to be very awkward for the rapture folk when Jesus comes back and winds up being a homeless liberal black guy who speaks zero English. Now, I know this is very depressing, all you rapture Christians, but cheer up. The rapture may be a racket, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, that's Viewpoint for tonight. I want to thank my panel. TV's Frank. Frank, where can people follow you? Uh, FrankConniff.com. Check out my... Shalom, Shalom, Israel. This is No Saint Left Behind. You know, I'm on my little break. So, um, come give you a little video. Hope I get some edification out of it. And, um, just want to start off with saying all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and a shout out to the Akims out there that's, you know, teaching this word and, uh, being obedient to Yahweh to the best of their ability. You know, I'm going to, uh, say less words and, uh, Get to this video before this break is over with and uh, see if I can edif get out some edification on some on this word. First, I want to start off with this scripture first. Let's go to uh, um, Job 30. No, Job 9. Job 9 and 24. The Job 9 and 24 say that... Uh, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? This is a rhetorical question. You know, it's letting you know that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. And the wicked is the so-called white men, the Edomites, you know. And so, with that being said, I'm going to let the wicked children, the children of the wicked, you know, um, cry out. You know, the Bible teaches that the children of the wicked are going to cry out for the un for the ungodly fathers, not so many words, but we're gonna get into those scriptures, so. I'm gonna go ahead and let this thing play. My name is Sabrina Johnson, and I'm here at the Race Relations Institute at Fisk University here in Nashville, Tennessee. Today is Friday, July 14th, the year 2000. You would please state your name and tell us why you're here. My name's Farrell Winfrey. I live in Roan County in East Tennessee. We've given your people a God that looks like me so that you don't have any qualm about bowing down to me. See, because this is the image of God. I don't know of any sin that we've committed that's greater than that one. See, that's what she's talking about. That's that Job 9 and 24, man. You know, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. You know, the so-called white man, the Edomites, is ruling the earth, man. And he covered the faces of the judges, which is uh, Yahweh Shah, who you equally call Jesus Christ, you know. And you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. We are the rulers and kings and judges of this world, man. You know, and they done stole our identity, man. He did it with the Bible in our hands when we were beating your ancestors for looking at us eye to eye. And we're quoting to them from this scripture. Even if, if we allowed them to have their own ministers, which there wasn't many of because we didn't allow them to read. But if we said, okay, you can have your church. It's my plantation. I'm going to do what I want with it. You can have your church. But then spies were sent. And those spies would stand outside the church. And that man would be beaten, perhaps killed, if he preached anything other than three sermons. And those three sermons were turn the other cheek obey your master and it's going to get better one of these days God's going to take care of all of it you're going to be in a happy happy land so put up with what you're putting up with now and we made your people preach that to your people and it's still being done 
It's still being done. Those are the sermons that your people hear. Those sermons are what causes your people to comfort me when I do something that's wrong. And so that's what Christianity really is all about, man. Christianity is really all about, you know, keeping us suppressed, you know, while the um, white man, so-called white man, Edomites, you know, live his hev heaven out on here, heaven out here on earth, you know, as, you know, and uh, while we living out our hell, this is his heaven, this is our hell, man. Let me go to, um, um, matter of fact, let's go to here. Yeah, I'm going to go to Ecclesiastes, you know. Ecclesiastes 41 and um, 7. And it says, The children will complain of an ungodly father because they shall be reproached for his sake. And so that's what these so-called white people, these Edomites are doing, man. They are crying about the, the injustice of their fathers and the lies that they told them, man. You know, they told them that they was the Jews, that they was the chosen people, man, and that... Uh, Heaven is for everybody, you know, which is a lie, which is a lie, man. And, 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 and his children, the wickedest children, the so-called white people, Edomites, are waking up and confessing the truth, man. But who else are the real Shemites? There are other anti-Zionist, non-Ashkenazi, Torah-keeping Jews worldwide that are the true Shemites, just like the Yemenite Jews and the black African Shemites. And I most probably shouldn't go here, but I will anyway. You see, after the destruction of the temple, yes, many of the Jews, the poor Jews, remained in the land. But there was a migration as well of the more affluent Jews to Yemen and to other parts of Africa. Other parts of Africa. You see, the black African Shemites were actually then taken away in slave ships. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And who were the owners of these slave ships? Who were the biggest slavers in the 16th century? The Ashkenazi were the biggest slavers in the 16th and 17th century. And that's your so-called Jews, man. You know, those white men, those white people that are in our land, in the land of Israel, you know, the, the fake Jews that stole, stole our, uh, our, identif our identity. You know, stole our inheritance for now. You know, that's why you got to read uh, Revelations 2 and 9 and 3 and 9, man. You know, the synagogue of Satan. Three. Going into the 18th century. You see, Ashkenazi slaving was huge. This is from, I have to be careful when I say this, so my sources, it's always best to go with Jewish sources, right? Because you just, tr you just trod on a bunch of toes. So we'll go with the Jewish sources. There's a ton of sources out there, but I'll stick with the Jewish ones because that's just safer. The Jewish scholar Jonathan Shorshek says this, Jewish merchants routine, routinely possessed enormous numbers of slaves temporarily before selling them off. If a slave auction fell on a Jewish festival, it was postponed due to lack of buyers and sellers. The Jews of Suriname gave their slave plantations Hebrew names such as Machan Aim, Nachamu, and Goshen. Rab Rabbi Herbert Bloom adds that the slave trade was one of the most important Jewish activities. In 1694, Jews owned 9,000 African Shemites. Jewish slaving is in fact confirmed by the Jewish encyclopedia. So in the days that we live, there's nothing more important than this Malki Tzedek message to the true Shemites. Because this Malki Tzedek message of the true Shemites is the solution. It is the solution 
to the Palestinian problem. It is the solution to the Black Lives Matter that is being fomented by the synagogue of Satan. It is the solution to racial tensions, segregation, that is all part of the synagogue of Satan's plot for Yahweh's people to fight amongst themselves based upon the color of our skin. That is ridiculous, but that is what they want so that we keep our minds off of them as the true slavers. Yeah, so I just played that little clip right there to show you that, you know, those so-called Africans that they were talking about, you know, that fled from um, Israel in 70 AD to the west coast of Africa and through many parts of Africa as well, you know, and was shipped over to the Americans in different parts of the world. You know, what's us, our ancestors, man. And, we the Hebrew Israelites. We the lost 12 tribes of Israel, man. And I'm a, I got one more clip I, I'm going to play before I read the scripture. This is a Jewish woman. Her, her, her grandfather is a rabbi. Jewish rabbi. Let's hear the truth he told her. All right. So. No, let me see your face. You ain't got the camera, do you? No. Let me see your face. When I'm telling you, I want to look at your face. You filming me? Go ahead. You filming me, sister? Yeah, yeah, I want to hear, we want to hear what the rabbi said. <laughs> you better not upload it, okay? Okay, I, mean, I am, but go ahead. I'm telling me. Okay, go ahead. I'm going to tell you, then I'm going to do it. All right, he said that... The real Jews were not uh, like of you know the Bible times. We're not white. He said that. Hold on, hold on, wait. Your grandfather, a Jewish, yeah. he's a Jewish rabbi. Yeah. He said that what now? He <laughs> he said that the real Jewish people from the Bible from back in the days um, were not white. So the Jews or the Israel, Israel in the Bible is not white. Huh? Israel in the Bible, the Jews in the Bible are not white. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. And they were dark skinned and then after everything that went on in Egypt and whatever, they like after the Bible time, they spread it out in the world and start, you know, mixing up with other ethnicities and stuff and therefore they became white people because in in Judaism they believe that the whatever the mother religion is, the the, the baby will be. Okay, and that's a lie. You can go to um, Numbers one and eighteen, find out that it, the mother doesn't determine the nationality of the baby, but the father do. The, the bloodline, the pedigree comes from the father, and so that's uh, Numbers chapter one and um, verse eighteen, and that's why you have some of these. Fake Jews that got a little like a might look like they got a, a little brownness to their tan because they've been sleeping and raping at our raping our women, sleeping with our women for years and decades, man. Okay, so, well, that's not true. So that's not anyway, true. But what else? He said, you said? About, he said about Jesus uh, that Jesus Jesus was uh, also uh, dark skin. Dark skin. Yeah. Real, 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 real dark. Yeah. Dark. Kind of like me, and you call me black, so I guess he was black. <laughs> uh, and well, the, the Bible tell you what color he was too in Revelation one. Yes, and uh, he was way, 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 way darker than her. So, you know, they trying to keep him light skinned, but he was a dark, so called Negro, dark brother, man. That's in Revelation chapter one, I think fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. And Daniel, and in Daniel. said that he was walking on, I asked him, is it true that he was walking on water and everything? He said yes. Um, he said that he was Jewish. And I asked him if he is Jewish, then why do the Jewish people hate him? The Jewish people don't hate him. And he said they don't, exactly. And he said they don't, like us, like in Israel. Why do they hate him? And he said they don't. He said the Christians turned it into we hate Jesus, but we don't. Yeah, that's what Christianity did. You know, the, the Roman Catholic Church did that. You know, that uh, 
teach that the Jewish, so-called Jewish, the white people over there hate who you call Jesus, name is Yahweh Shah, but they really don't. You know, it is something that propaganda was pushed out through the, the Roman Catholic Church, the Edomites. The other Jewish people, brother, they were just mad at the Jewish, the other Jewish, because they control the world and they have all the money and banks. And he said that I don't know if this is going to be helpful for your video or not, but I'm going to say it because we want to hear the truth. The men of truth, right? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> yeah, it's me. Um, he said that Jesus was using witchcraft. What? <laughs> and uh, they were saying that that's why they called him uh, Beelzebub or they called him Satan, you know. But he was he was using spiritual powers, you know. He was he the son of the most high. Uh, to to walk on water and everything, he was using God's name in a wrong way. <laughs> he, said, he said whoever put him on the cross and did whatever was the uh, people in Rome or from Rome or whatever. Yeah, Roman soldiers. Yeah, um, because he came and he said he was the king of Israel. Okay. And I didn't know none of that, so it's good. All right, I'm gonna read this scripture right here because I gotta get ready to go. You know, it's about that time. Let me see uh, Romans, you know, Jeremiah 16, because you know, these Edomites, so-called white people are complaining about the lies their forefathers told them. And this is Jeremiah 16 to 18. And first I will, and first I will recompense their iniquity and their sin double. So the, the white man, so-called white man, the Edomites gonna get double judgment upon them. They had us in slavery for 500 years. They're going to be in captivity for slavery for a thousand years because they have defiled my land. This so-called white men in the land now, the Jewish people. They have filled my inheritance with the car carcasses of their detestable and uh, abominable things. Verse 19. O Yahweh, my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction. The Gentiles, that's the so-called white men, Jewish people, uh, and the other nations, your, Edom, your uh, Africans and, you know, East Indians, Japanese, Chinese, all your other nations, the Gentiles, that's why I was in the capital ladder, shall come unto, the, uh, unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanity, and things, and things wherein there are is no profit so you know and all these nations are finding out that the so-called white men the Edomites have lied to everybody man they inherited lies they are not the, the real Jews you know they are none of the real people they say you know they, they imposters man they vagabonds man they fugitives on the run here um wait what else did he say he said uh a south people Esau yeah Okay, go ahead. They they are in this day and time. They are um, all the white people um, in. He gave me a name of some countries, but it was basically what you was writing me. Um, he said they hate Jewish people until today, or Israel until today, or whatever. So he said that Esau was the white people in certain countries. Um, no, certain ethnicities. Okay. That leaves in certain countries today. Okay. But mostly white people. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, the descendants of Esau, all these, all, all these so-called white people, you know, which are the Edomites, man. Okay. Um. He said also, I'm trying to remember. He said that. Well, I'm gonna end this video first. I'm gonna play this video, then I'm gonna end it. Hey guys, the gig is up. I'm not the real Jesus. As a matter of fact, the fella's name wasn't even Jesus. He had a Hebrew name. There wasn't a letter J until a few hundred years ago. <laughs> With that being said, I have fooled the whole world into the biggest sham of all time. The name and identity of the real fella has been taken over by me. <laughs> there are thousands of paintings of Jesus and they don't even come close. Jesus was the creation of the Roman Catholic Church, which served to replace the real fella who probably looked more 
like Morgan Freeman. <laughs> but who cares? The truth doesn't matter. As long as you pay your tithes. <laughs> hey, did you know that Pope Alexander VI commissioned Leonardo da Vinci to reinvent Jesus in the image of his own beloved son, Cesare Borgia? He felt that the Vatican needed a makeover because the real fellow wasn't too appealing to the general public. So, voila, here I am, the modern version of the fake Jesus. <laughs> Got you again. You saw me. I actually came clean and told you that I wasn't the real Jesus. I also told you that I was created to make certain populations happy and comfortable. Well, I am glad to see that many of you are loyal and enjoy strong delusions and still want me as your savior. <laughs> wow, what idiots. Conversion. Personally, I like to think that the same people who think... Shalom, Israel. I'm back at work.